Good afternoon, Firebrand. Ah! How'd you get in here? I specifically told them to not let anyone in. My lady made them cupcakes. Want one? Wait. You're saying you got past the guards the exact same way from Rarity Investigates. I'll be right back. You might want to plug your ears. You dance, mother- Can I still have that cupcake? I think you need that cupcake. Thank you. Huh, it's a Christmas thing. I wonder why it's oh. So the episode begins on Hearthwarming Eve with Pinky coming through the chimney. Well, it's far from the weirdest place she's popped out of. Yeah! That's so not true! You know, Spike now has a doll of himself and Rarity. What will he do with them after the holidays? Lord help me! What? You need it on the breach, sir! Knock on my door! Knock next time! So apparently, Applejack and Pinky's families are spending the holiday together, and the dialogue announcing it doesn't sound unnatural nor exposition-y. Good job, writers! When Spike and I spent our first hearthstorming eve together, he couldn't wait all night to open his presents. Ever since then, we've always opened them the night before. It's kind of like our tradition. <laughs> I think we all have our weird family traditions. My family would actually have everyone open one of their presents on Christmas Eve and everything else the following morning. Kind of gave us a bit of hype on both days, actually. My family does Secret Santa the night before. Also, we have this ornament that's hidden on our tree, and whoever finds it first gets to open the first gift on Christmas Day. Oh, well, what kind of ornament is it? A cucumber. Not sure how we got it, actually. Great for terrorizing cats, though. Just what I always wanted! A book. Nerd! 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 I don't suppose you're ever going to get tired of that joke? Never! The geek shall be properly insulted every video! Which reminds me, when is our next Dungeons & Dragons session going to be? Ah, well, I got some great traps and encounters planned, I just finished drawing out the map groups. Oh, and I also bought some new D20s and... Shut up. We cut to the train with several reference characters in the background. Apple Boom is really excited to eat candy and open presents. Now hang on, Sugar Cube. You know Hearthswarming isn't just about candy and presents, right? Uh-oh. That's your boring sisterly lecture voice. So, every other video of his. Hey, I... Uh, no, that actually sounds about right. Then we get a severely abridged version of the original Hearthswarming tale, featuring gingerbread. I really enjoy when the show tries out a new style of animation like this for exposition, segues, and recaps. Makes tedium more interesting. Notice that the Unicorn and Pegasi were the only ones arguing. I detect racial bias. They then decide to outline the pie and apple family's similar traditions. Sounds like the apples and the pies do everything the same way. Of course! Of course. We, we might, might be related! related. Hey! I, I was, was gonna, gonna say that! That, that was, was cute. cute. So, Pinky does what she does, and then Maud appears on the scene. I hope you had fun sledding yesterday. How'd you know that? Isn't it obvious? There's specks of extrusive andesite on your hoof. It's a mountain rock. And apparently she's Sherlock now. Dead Pantone, atypical emotional expression, and social cluelessness? Yeah, sounds about right. Hey, if they got Pinkie Pie as Watson, I'd so watch that. They go to the Pie residence and, wow, they get electricity all the way out here? Maybe they're just luminescent crystals. Oh look, it's new Fluttershy. Would that make her other sister new Gilda? May providence favor thee well, and to thou comfort our humble homestead bring. Y'all gabbing with words real funny like. Then we get to meeting the rest of the Pi siblings. I like how you can tell they're a family. It's clear each of them has personality traits that would normally make interacting difficult, but they've been with each other so long that they know how to deal with it. I'm most surprised with Limestone Pi. You'd think that she would be the one to sabotage the entire episode, and given her expression later at the table, you wouldn't be faulted for thinking it. 
but I'm pleasantly surprised they went in a different direction. This is Marble Pie, my baby sister who's only a few minutes younger than me, but she'll always be a baby to me, isn't that right? So is Pinky a twin, or were all four of them born at the same time? If all four of them? I do not envy that mother. Oh, I can't wait to taste their fresh sweet rolls. They're my favorite part of our swarm eat dinner. I'm more of a six-layer bean dip filling myself. Woo! Food traditions! What was yours? My family would make sugar cookies and deliver them all over the neighborhood. Oh, we used to get a turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes and gravy, cranberry sauce, corn, and green bean casserole. Are you sure you aren't thinking of Thanksgiving? Nope. Same thing. Different holiday. Don't be hating. Are you excited for dinner time? Because guess who is? Spoiler alert! <laughs> What is it with you and spoilers anyways? The MLP movie comes out soon! Don't mess this up for me, dang it! So they get down to dinner and find that the meal wasn't quite what they expected. Neither were the hearth warming dolls, or activities. Big Mac? Marble Pie? Your team won! And with one frame, a new ship was born! The SS Marble Mac! Sail up two lads! You have ships here? It's a joint forward operating base. Anyways, they all split up, and Team Old has an interesting conversation about how Igneous and Cloudy were betrothed by a choosing stone. Hoo-wee, I got to look into this old fangled choosing stone thing. Do you reckon it knows any apple farming hunks? Indeed mm -hmm. so. Wait a minute, was that implying that one of them was an apple farmer before meeting the other? I mean, it seems unlikely given their cutie marks, but just because they were born an apple doesn't mean they would automatically get that kind of cutie mark, and given the strong overarching themes of destiny in the show, would it be too much of a stretch to- Firebrand, you're going into theory territory. Theory ain't no territory I ever heard of. They speak English in theory? What? English, motherfucker, do you speak it? Have you ever wished you could turn into a rock? I had a dream once I was an apple. We have a lot in common when it comes to thinking about turning into things. I don't have a comment for that. I just think that's a weird line. So then Pinky apparently finds the rock they needed. A picture? I've been looking for a real stone, Pinkie Pie. Um, that would be weird. How does that simultaneously make complete sense and yet none at all? It's Pinkie Pie, don't question it. I thought that's what we do on this show. Absolutely not. In this world, there's a few universal truths that everyone must acknowledge. The sky is blue, grass is green, Kingdom Hearts is light, and Pinkie Pie shall not be questioned. Y'all hide your presents? Of course! What's more fun than getting a present? Finding a present! Although, most years, no pony finds one. Goodness, I think Applejack's face speaks for all of us. I think my heart just stopped. These are their traditions. Yep. I know they have their traditions, and we have ours, but I just want them to see how much better theirs could be. Wow. I am glad that when Applejack is the one causing the conflict, at the very least we understand her motivations behind it, but yeah, that's some very insensitive thinking right there. Firebrand? Can't. Move. Cringed too hard. No, 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 no! I'm swarming! I'm swarming! I'm swarming! I'm swarming! I'm swarming! There's one in every family. Ah, oh, so you want to break their legs when they do that, too? Oh, no, I'm sticking by this. That silent treatment doesn't work anymore. Yeah, fine, fine, I'm sorry, jeez! All right, Applejack shows them how much she altered the farm last night and all of the traditions she's basically trampling on. Pink Amina Diane Pie. Oh! Oh, he used her full name. Pinky is in trouble. Pinky is in trouble. Brandon Hephaestus Fire, you will stop that this instant. Yes, Dad. Excuse me. You planted your pole on a fault line. Convenient. Well, technically she didn't touch it. She actually did it better. No! So the apples pack up to alleviate the awkward, but can't seem to find Applejack. That's because she's in a cave crying her eyes out. Oh, so is Pinky. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I, I came, came here, here to think. think. You, you did? did? So, so did, did I. I. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Still cute. You, you have, have something stuck in your teeth. teeth. I do? Huh. How long has that been there? Yeah! This may look like fun, but it's not! 
So they all mope on the train where Granny explains the history behind Holder's Boulder. Their great 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 grandfather, Holder Cobblestone, he found that boulder in a dragon's nest. All of the time itself. He built the family farm around it, even though it was just an ordinary rock. You know, I've often wondered whether Holder's Boulder was actually an ancient dragon egg. But enough of theories. The Pie family is trying to put the boulder back into place. I'm pushing as hard as I can, too. We find that highly suspect. I wasn't trying to take your traditions away. Yes, you were. I was so focused on us being one big happy family, I thought we needed the same traditions right away. What I should have done is learn about yours and teach you about ours. And over time, we'd make new traditions together. Ah, yes. Seek first to understand, then to be understood. Stephen Covey. Good book. I think we just invented our first combined tradition. Pushing Holder's boulder out of the quarry. I can't wait for Applejack to knock it over next heart swarming. Ha <laughs> they think she's joking. So the rest of the episode is heartwarming fluff. Pinky shipping her sister in Big Mac and Mod singing carols. About rocks. And that was Hearthbreakers. All in all, cute, fluffy, funny episode. We got to spend time with the entire Pie family, we got to see the Apple family interact with new people and show different facets of their personalities, and we got to see a little bit more of Equestria's world and history. A lot of subtlety about respecting culture and tradition as well. Gives you a lot to reminisce about your own holiday upbringing, while at the same time giving a genuine moment of growth to Applejack that doesn't feel the least bit forced. Wonderful humor, memorable new characters, wrapped up in a worthwhile lesson. Certainly one of the better episodes of Season 5. Alright, time for you to go. Get in the party howitzer. Do you really want to be known as the pony who forcefully ejected Dr. Wolf? Th that's blackmail! Indeed. Now, I'll be taking my leave on my own terms, thank you very much. My lady is expecting me to serve out more cupcakes, and I don't want this spoiled by you taking your new running gag too seriously. Jolly Brutes of Doom.